Hey there physical science students, this is Ms. Ruark again and here are some sample acceleration calculations for you so that you can be ready for these on your quiz and your test. Alright, uh, so a car accelerates from 5 kilometers per hour to 55 kilometers per hour in 30 seconds and they want to know what is its acceleration. Alright, well don't forget that acceleration A is equal to the change in velocity delta V over T so it's a rate it's the change in velocity with time alright well to get the change in velocity you have to take the final velocity and you subtract the initial velocity from it and then you get time alright so to do this we have to analyze our question so what are we looking for we are looking for the acceleration of the car so we're looking for A. Well, we know that it's going to accelerate from 25 kilometers per hour. Now, kilometers per hour, that is distance, kilometer is distance, over hours, which is time. And that gives us speed or velocity. So this is a velocity. And then we have 55 kilometers per hour, which is another velocity. And this is going to happen in 30 seconds, which is our time. Alright, well to solve this problem we have to have a VF and a VI. And if you looked here you would say, oh look, it starts at 25 kilometers per hour. So that's the VI and it stops at 55 kilometers per hour. So it's going to go VI to VF. Okay, now we just have to plug in and solve for A. So we'll just keep going here and we say that the VF is 55 kilometers per hour. Okay, and from that we're going to subtract the VI, which is 25 kilometers per hour. Okay, and then all that goes over the time that it takes to do it, which in this case is 30 seconds. And that's, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll be fine. All right, it's 30 seconds. And they want to know what is the acceleration. All right, well, we've got this, so all we have to do is the math. So 55 minus 25 is 30. So 30 kilometers per hour divided by 30 seconds, right? Everything good so far, I hope. Okay, and all we have to do is plug into the calculator 30 divided by 30. Well, what happens to our units before we do that? Kilometers per hour divided by seconds. None of them are going to cancel. So we know that our answer is going to have kilometers over hours times seconds. Remember, anytime you're dividing by something on a denominator you end up multiplying. Alright, so kilometers per hour times seconds because with acceleration we want two representations of time on the bottom and 30 divided by 30 is 1. Okay, so we are accelerating at 1 kilometer per hour for every second that we travel. Okay, Alright, let's try another one. Okay, a train is accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second that should be squared not a two two meters per second squared that's up top all right if its initial velocity is 20 meters per second what is its velocity after 30 seconds okay so what are we looking for well we're looking for velocity we don't know which one yet though right okay well let's figure out which one let's look at all the other stuff that we know what do we know what do we what's important a train is accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. So 2 meters per second squared, that's our acceleration. How do we know? Because it says it's accelerating. We also know because of our units. Remember, meters over second squared is acceleration. So there's acceleration. If its initial velocity is 20 meters per second, so this is going to be our initial velocity. How do we know? Because it tells us. Ah, which means that we're looking for its final velocity. And we want to know after 30 seconds has passed, so that's our time. All right, so acceleration is equal to final velocity minus the initial velocity over time. Okay, so we've got to get final velocity by itself. All right, we've got to do some rearranging here. So if we've got final velocity, or we've got all these letters here, we need to get the T on the other side because we need to get this numerator out of a fraction. So how do we get the t to the other side? Well, 
We're going to multiply because we've got to get rid of the fraction, right? All right, so A times T is equal to VF minus VI. All right, now to get VF by itself, we've got to get rid of this VI here. And since it's subtracted, what's the opposite of subtraction? Well, it should be addition, right? So we're going to add it to both sides. And if we take something and subtract it from it, it ends up being zero, so it's going to cancel out. So let's add VI to both sides. And that gives us A times T plus VI. That's a plus there, probably, I promise. And that's all equal to V. F. All right, so to solve for VF, I'm going to rewrite it again because I don't like the way that one looks. We need AT plus VI. All right, well, A we know is 2 meters per second squared, so 2 meters per second squared, and that's going to be multiplied by the time, which is 30 seconds. And we're going to add to that the VI, which would be 20 meters per second. Okay. So to solve for VF, we just have to do our math. Well, let's look at our units real quick. What happens here? Well, here the seconds are going to cancel, so we're left with meters per second and meters per second. So if we do our math, 2 times 30 is 60 meters per second plus whatever's left over here, which is 20 meters per second. And so now you have to do is add 60 plus 20, which gives us 80 meters per second. So it ends up at 80 meters per second. And it doesn't tell us the direction, so it's just accelerating straight. All right, and there you go. All right, let's do another one. A runner achieves a velocity of 11.1 .1 meters per second nine seconds after he begins. What is his acceleration? <clears throat> All right, so we're looking for acceleration, which is A. We know that he achieves a velocity of 11.1 .1 meters per second, which means that that's where he ends up at. Okay, well, what did he begin at? Well, this is probably a race, and it doesn't say that he started at a velocity, so we're going to assume he began at 0 meters per second, which is going to be our VI. Okay, and it took him 9 seconds to get to that speed. Oops, that should be time. Sorry. All right, so we're looking for acceleration. Remember, acceleration is equal to VF minus VI over T. So we just plug that in. VF is equal to 11.1 .1 meters per second. VI is equal to 0 meters per second and the time is equal to 9 seconds. <clears throat> All right, so 11.1 .1 minus 0 is 11.1 .1 meters per second, and we need to divide that by 9 seconds. Okay, so we plug into our calculator 11.1 .1 divided by 9, and that gives us 1.2333 repeating, so 1.23 meters per second squared, and that's your acceleration. And then the next question, we're going to tie in back with the other stuff, says, what distance did he cover? Oh, man, you mean we got to cover, we got to worry about distance and velocity and seconds and, yes. All right, well, we know that speed or velocity is equal to distance over time. We're looking for distance. Do we have a speed? Yeah, we have a speed, 11.1. .1. So we know that it's 11.1 .1 meters per second. We're looking for distance. Do we have a time? Yeah, we have a time of nine seconds. All right, so how do we do this? Well, we gotta get D by itself, so we're gonna multiply both sides by nine seconds. Both sides by nine seconds. Okay, that cancels there. Seconds cancel here. And so nine times 11.1. .1. So the distance is gonna be equal to 900, not 900, sorry, 99.9 .9 meters. And that's your distance. Okay, if you've watched this podcast, you'll now get this hint that um, on the quiz tomorrow, there will be no free fall. So all that stuff that we did in class today, it's not going to be on the test. It's too new for you to, to quiz, or it's not going to be on the quiz, excuse me. It's too new to quiz on. Okay, so just velocity, 
just acceleration, speed, know the difference, know your vocabulary because you have to know the vocabulary in order to understand the concepts. Okay, so that's what's going to be on the quiz tomorrow, and uh, that covers it. I'll see you then.